Hello and welcome back to Stalker uh, Escape from Pripyat. Um, so we're in the swamp, and uh, we have it's it's nighttime. I know it's it re, re, I'm really switching things up here. Um, we are going to take care of a long-standing problem. I need some beans. Yummy beans. Mm. Yummy, delicious beans. We're going to eat some more beans. Uh, let me just see. That'll put us at sated, but not full or anything like that. So we're um, we're going to take out that military base. I'm sick and tired of like seeing it on my map. And uh, before you um, anticipate a uh, an awful session here, I mean, it could go sour, but um, I already checked. Like, I actually already did this off camera. And uh, j just to see if I could, I, uh, I, I kind of ran at it with both feet. And just to see how, how well things would go. And I completely wiped it out. So, nice that we're finally at a, uh, at a point where I can do that. I did get kind of lucky, though, I will say. I don't know if I will get as lucky um this time i was able to kind of get inside a building um so i was safe from a helicopter and uh it just kind of like funneled them in and i was able to take them out like one by one um so we'll see we'll see if things are that easy again i've never seen one of those in at nighttime so that's kind of neat I should have taken the night vision off. This is the uh, Oculus, by the way, night vision. Um, Oracle, sorry, not Oculus, Oracle. Um, this is the best night vision goggles in the game. I was able to uh, build those, I think, between last session and this one. So we're pretty much fully kitted. The only thing I'm missing at this point is the best PDA. Um, I think I have the, the weapons I'm going to be using at the end of the game. And I think we have um, pretty much pretty much all the gear. We definitely have most of what we need. Um, and uh, if you saw in the last session, uh, which I haven't done the, rec the the narration for yet, but I have recorded it. It was going to be a, basically a grind session where I uh, do a bunch of quests and um, then do some narration over it. But, uh, yeah, I was able to get this sun artifact, which gives us 26 plus 26 percent, uh, percent ballistic resistance, which is kind of absurd. I don't know actually how well that works, if I'm being honest. Um, but if it works even half as good as it sounds, then that's just like ridiculously good. So that was a really good find. Um, I don't, we'll never get like, well, I don't know. I shouldn't say never, but we'll generally never be that lucky again. So I'm going to attack him and then I'm going to get in here. And this is a very good spot. There's a couple of people that are hard to take out. God damn. Okay, this isn't going as well as before, I will say. Okay, we're gonna heal up. I'm using my shotgun because I find the shotgun is really good at taking these guys out. Especially when you get that stun. Um, let's bandage up. Oh, that's that wasn't a bandage actually. Were you shooting me through the wall there? Okay, I'm going to use the Salawa for a moment. 
Good job, bud. That guy was standing there that whole time, but he doesn't seem to want to kill you or like shoot at you. Oh, here comes another dude. Oh, damn it. Um, I definitely think there is a hell. Yeah, there is a helicopter. There's still more. My friends didn't die. Actually, my friends died last time I came here. Jesus. Oh my god. Like 20 bullets in the head. I actually do think the shotgun is better. Um, it seems to do a nice chunk of damage. At the very least. So, that's pretty much that done. I don't think that there's anything else to do here. Um... I have to, I'm going to have to now play inventory management, like juggling for uh, a good amount of time now. So I'm probably just going to do a pause here. We'll see if there's maybe a few other things I need to take care of. Mm, it's my friend shooting at the helicopter, actually, for, for no reason. So I'm going to do a pause here and I'm going to loot all of these bodies. And, uh, and then we'll, uh, move on. Alright, I have looted pretty much everything here. I haven't really looked inside the buildings. So we're gonna have a quick look. Uh, you know, what, what little there is of these buildings. Uh, we're, we're do our dude is hungry again. He gets hungry, you know. Let's have some mixed nuts. Yummy. I'm pretty sure there is really only the one building to wander around in. And our dude is thirsty. Okay. He has needs. He has many needs. So, um, <clears throat> that's a long standing problem taken care of, which is nice. Um, what's next? Eliminate dangerous mutants. We can do that. It looks like, um, there was a unknown enemy that's, that's kind of taken care of itself, which is nice. It, you know, I know it's it's kind of questionable to roam around even the swamp at nighttime, but I'm pretty confident I can take out anything that we come across. I did find quite a, a nice chunk of 554 ammo. I think it's 550. I always get this wrong, don't I? 556, 45. That's it's because there's a lot of fives in there. I got some. I got some 556, 45. Um. So that's good. I actually think we have a, a surplus now. Um, not sure like what we want to do next. Um, I am kind of over encumbered right now, so I definitely want to um, hit up the base and sell some stuff. But I want to make uh, make the most of our swamp trip here because I don't really intend on coming back. Uh, I guess there's there is the the, the you know like there's the story mission to deal with like i uh, this whole stupid like take take out the military base this whole time has been um kind of a story mission although i'm not sure it's like a, it's a mission for cl the clear sky base so i don't know they might give me something else to do but i don't know how much i want to do that like i i really don't know what that's going to develop into and I'm not sure how much I care. Like, it's in the swamp. If they want me to do something else in the swamp, then forget it. If they want me to do something in the corn, they can forget it. Because, like, um, honestly, at this point, I'm setting my sights at Pripyat. That's um, kind of our next goal. And uh, there is there are some stuff to do in uh, 
the next zone i guess in pripyat i'm not sure where what no oh, i keep trying to look at our map and unfortunately that means our stupid night vision is gonna get in the way um kill the stalker contract killer our next thing is to meet with loki and Ju jupiter which we haven't done bounty kill in the landscape it's just a side quest nothing too exciting the first lieutenant todorov so that's a like a master kill we don't i i have uh by the way i did spend quite a lot of money picking up um a lot of the various uh like routes to get to places so if we go is this pripyat here no that's outskirts that's zaton i'm not actually sure where pripyat is this is chernobyl south where is pripyat deserted hospital oh this is this is pripyat here like right here this little tiny tiny spot here um so I did buy uh, quite a lot of routes. So we, we can get um, go through radar now if we wanted. I think that is the next... I, that's the spot where we fought all of those uh, monolith. Um, I don't know if I've been to the outskirts. This goes to Pripyat. So I guess I was in Pripyat when I was fighting monolith. Um... It doesn't seem right, but I guess that's right. That That is a fairly condensed area. Sorry to do a lot of looking at the map. Um, something is seeing us. Not sure what. God damn it, I have to look at the map again. We need to go southwest. This, uh, having a decent night vision goggle really makes things less scary at nighttime. I wonder if we can look at our artifact. Identify. Nope. Not really. Not. I, I kind of, um, almost, I, I'd almost like to have a quality of life feature of like, uh, you know, I, I, I went to a lot of trouble to make some of this equipment, like the PDA. I kind of wish I could install a mod that's like, you know, turn off the, uh, not a mod to the game, sorry, a mod to the, the, like, PDA and a mod to the artifact identifier. That's like, you know, when, when you have your night vision goggles on, it automatically turns off the backlight. You would think that that's something you could do. At the very least, um, if you, if we were doing this in real life... There would be a backlight setting, and you would be able to turn it off fairly easily. What's next, boss? Well, we're gonna go fight a mutant. It's really not much reason. I I need to I need money. That's really like what we need. I've got thirty thousand. That's not a lot. Um, because you know I've been spending a lot of our money on uh, routes. Every time I get a little bit of money, I spend it on a route. That's how it goes. We should be going southwest. I hate being an over encumbered. Really is a pain in the butt. I also something that bothers me is that like our friends, my friends, um, mm. they they use their flashlights and it completely defeats the purpose of of the uh, the night vision. Like, completely defeats the purpose. Because I can't see. Uh, the enemy can see us. And, what you know, what's the point? The whole the whole uh, benefit of using the night vision goggles is the enemy can't see us, hopefully. And, um... But we can see them, you know? So we've completely reversed their position. They can see us for miles... And, uh, I can't see at all because <laughs> the stupid lights are blinding me. Turn off your stupid headlamp. <laughs> hate that. I'm not sure if that was our mission. Uh, no. We have to go to the pump station. Not sure what we're going to expect at the pump station. I 
There was a, uh, a mission, by the way. Oh, hello. You can shoot him. You're allowed. Ugh, this is not really stuff that I want. I'm, I'm, I'm happy if I can get some food, but honestly, like, parts, mutant parts at this point is not worth carrying. It's just too much stuff, you know? I'm already carrying a lot of stuff. I unfortunately am carrying the secured container. Um, I really just need to, like, cobble together enough lockpicks to uh, open that pack of resistors and capacitors nice like i say there's only one thing left that we need um i will say one thing that we do need to throw some more capacitors at eventually is um i'm gonna need more containers for holding artifacts because this artifact that we have here the one that um, gives us like ridiculously nice ballistic resistance. That's not the last time we're gonna get something like that Ideally, we're going to be getting Artifacts that all probably have like all emit a radiation Because the ones that emit radiation are good like they're good Artifacts they usually have very decent benefits, but you have to Oh, God! Yo, did I just take him out with this? Oh, I used the dragon's breath shotgun. Oh, my God. I just took him out with, like, three shots. Good Lord. Yo, I was not expecting a pseudo giant in the freaking swamp. We got a pseudo giant... Hide, hand, and eye. Not sure what I need in order to make um, the uh, elixir. I already have an elixir. I'm saving it for a rainy day. But, um, good God. Why, why pseudo giants? It feel, almost feels like the game is like deliberately ramping up in difficulty. Because there ain't no way they would be throwing a pseudo giant at me in the early parts of the game. I know they threw a, a chimera at me and even that was kind of rough. But like, really? Pseudo giants, my dude? Okay, um, do you have anything... I can buy. I probably no. Oh, I mean lockpicks, but this these prices kind of suck for lockpicks. He'll buy my parts, which is fine. Um, I guess I threw away all of the extra magazines, which was a good idea. But um, no, no, I didn't throw away the magazines. He will. He will buy them. Nice. Does this have bullets in it? No. Okay. Sell those magazines. I'll buy the lockpicks from someone else. I could also sell this um, small magazine pouches. It's not really worth it to me. You have to put it in the tool belt. Tool belt uh, slots are precious. And I really don't feel like giving it up. I do have this um, rupture and ballistic resistance Kevlar. Uh, or ceramic insert. I will probably use that at some point. I'm assuming I need to sell the mutant parts to the food food dude. Let's just use our flashlight. I cannot believe, first of all, that we saw, uh, found a pseudo giant in the swamp and also that I took it out in like two shots. Job is done. Uh, lost signal 62 megahertz PDA contains records of their final moments. Seems like an ambush. Thank you. Here's your reward Russian brand of cigarettes. Oh, thank you for that. Really appreciate that uh, Want anything else done Russian chocolate? Do we have some Russian chocolate? I feel like we do Yeah, we do we could we could do that for you 
There you go. A thousand, a thousand rubles. Well, I guess that's worth it. He's got um, some money. We could sell the pseudo giant hand. I bought, I got this headhunter uh, ammo that seems all right. Um, we could sell most of our stuff to him. Although I think I, yeah, you can't afford all of it. So we'll keep the ammo and sell everything else. Character does not have enough money. Really? Oh yeah, I guess not. There you go. Um, I also picked up, uh, one of our missions at the, at that, uh, um, military base was to get, grab this AK-74. I, I don't know why, and, you know, but it is, uh, the condition of it is very nice. So I imagine I can sell it for a nice chunk of money. Although I think it's just barely damaged enough that it's not going to be sellable unless I repair it a bit more. All right, dude, will you sell my mutant parts? Or sorry, will you buy my mutant parts? I kind of want to keep the mutant uh, pseudo giant hand. So we'll keep that stuff. Uh, I'll sell one of these chimera hides. I don't need to. And I'll sell all these cat claws. Um, the pseudo giant hide, I'm pretty sure we could sell. I'm using the chimera hide right now, but I don't seem to have a pseudo giant hide. I think the reason I stopped carrying one is because I have, I think I have better things like this Chimera Hide offers pretty much all of the same benefits. Okay, maybe not. This does offer a little bit more uh, rupture and ballistic resistance. But the thing is, is, oh, it's, well, okay, yeah. The Chimera Hide is almost half the weight and it offers stamina recovery. It just seemed to work out that way. Like it just didn't seem like the pseudo giant um, hide was worth carrying. It really doesn't offer all that much more, so hence why I'm I'm not using the pseudo giant uh, hide. Uh, do we have? Um, yeah, we have mi mineral water. I could stand to grab. Probably we need some um, fuel. Probably do not have any fuel. This guy doesn't have fuel. Why do they? Why does it that no one has any fuel anymore? I used to have be able to get fuel all the time and now I, it's just a problem but anyway he will not buy my guns um do you want, want something done do you want to trade no this guy does routes this guy want boar, wants boar legs i didn't have three so that's a Kind of a waste of time. He will, uh, he does have some money though. A little bit of money. Let's sell these ropes and the ammo. That's actually perfect. So we're up to 50,000 now. That's pretty good. I think I have enough. Yeah, I've got enough purifying pills. So we don't really need to buy anything from this guy. Um, I'll still have a look. Yeah, I think we're good. We could buy like ant antibiotics, um, maybe some bandages. We do could probably stand to have some bandages. I'll buy a car. Um, I should keep an eye on. So I, I've got quite a lot of these serves now. The serves are really worthwhile because not only do, are they great for stapling yourself back together. Um, you know what? We don't we don't need a car. I have I have plenty of health stuff. Um, not only is the serve good for stapling yourself back together, but you can also use it to repair your gear like really well. The bonus that it offers is actually worth using a, uh, one of the serve usage um, in order to repair your gear. It's it's kind of absurdly good. It's like 15% or something ridiculous. Military has been knocked out of the machine yard. It was a tough fight. 3,000? Are you kidding, my dude? 3,000. We couldn't have done this without you. You're damn right. Any work you want done? One of our patrols captured some bandits around the pump station. After a good beating, they confessed they're preparing an assault. Pass. Military faction patches. Yeah, I can do that. Here you go. 8,000. Nice. Any work? I have anything else? Bandit faction patches. My dude, why are you pushing me away? Stash coordinates, which is nice. Um, any work? 
scout the area pass on that um okay so i don't think that uh i don't think that they'll offer me anything else that's you know not, nothing like story based anyway at least i don't know maybe the the pump station quest is a big deal job done time to return is to task giver okay so let's go back to our farm I know we're you guys you you're probably all sick of the farm um i admittedly am as well and by the way i don't know if you caught it in the last episode but um one of my dudes died at the farm so that really sucks and it was the guy that sold and i believe bought guns as well he was actually the person i was selling my guns to i was like when i was repairing um stuff and selling it so that that's just like such a bummer um really honestly don't know what to do about that i accept that like i i have too much stuff at farm to move it i really can't um take I, i'm not gonna take the time to like move all of our stuff out of farm it's just way too much effort um so i'm good on that regard i have to keep an eye out because sometimes this place is like overrun by bandits like every single time and that's what killed the dude by the way our dude here is dead forever by the way i didn't know but you can actually get in there if you're like really if you really try you can kind of crouch jump yourself into there there isn't really anything of interest the job is done eight thousand nice oh and then the other job is done no nothing this line will not be shown in the game oh okay um mission complete but like did i get anything for that did, was the mission just to get get the gun um doesn't seem to have uh, a heavy repair i kind of need a heavy repair because i i noticed that uh, my my exoskeleton took a couple hits tactical gear for some pistols um we could sell some like just general purpose parts why trader isn't interested in items like this okay so we're gonna have to carry that a little longer um i don't know why i took this ak-74 except for the fact that it had camo on it which was kind of f f hilarious to me oh okay i got body armor from doing that last mission which i mean that's nice and all except for the fact that who cares um <laughs> i got some clear sky body armor for clearing out that military base what a joke what an actual joke listen i know that they're struggling i know that that guy was like part of his whole deal was like oh you know we we don't have a lot of resources so can we just like send you in to die against the military sure yeah why not um i'm not gonna hold it against them but like also the fact that i actually got the job done finally after like putting together a ridiculous amount of equipment i think i deserve more than like some baseline gear and five what thirty thousand coins like rubles come on come on dude Okay, so I'm going to buy, um, let's buy all of his lock picks for 25 thou. And we're going to open up this box. What's in the box? Okay, so it's actually fully upgraded. We get a substantial uh, bonus to opening this. Titanium grid, anti-rad drugs, echo detector. That, that's actually pretty good. The echo, echo detector means we get a bunch of uh, repair parts. We got our knife back. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot believe it. We actually got our knife back. Like the original knife that I, I had at like the beginning of the game and lost by accident. This is the same knife and I got it back for free. You know what? I um, ought to equip that. Out of like almost pure uh, sentimentality, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and equip the uh, this th my my old knife back just because we we lost it, and I finally get to have it back. That's so good. I love I love a good arc, you know, especially one with a happy ending. Um, I do want to see if I have everything I need to make um, the pseudo giant stuff. Let me see here. Pseudo elixir. We actually do have everything we need to make another pseudo giant elixir. Wild. It's going to take another morphine injector. I guess this is worth it. I'm not taking it with me. Um, please know that I'm not taking this elixir with me because um, I, I'm probably going to take it to like the last, you know, area like the Chernobyl or like maybe when I. Uh, when and if we have like substantial uh, evidence to support that like um the next mission is where i'm gonna we're gonna get the the gift the the wish granter or whatever it's called um when something like that happens then i will um i'll bring our pseudo elixirs with us but until then i'm gonna i'm gonna stash <coughs> these elixirs away because I, they're, they're first of all, they're very heavy, and second of all, I don't want to risk, um, like, n you know, myself being tempted to use it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and repair this old knife. Um, sorry, we're doing inventory management again. But uh, it kind of comes with the territory a little bit, unfortunately. Like, you can't really play this game without doing a substantial amount of this. It's part of what I like about the game, but I also understand how it might, like, bother people. Um, I guess these artifacts are worth carrying, and they're not too heavy. But I definitely feel like I'm carrying too much stuff. Um, we could use up one of these batteries. Like... Part of the deal is, like, we have to carry a lot of these heavy batteries as spares. As soon as I throw them on the suit, then they're gone. Like, they, they, they're they just used up and the weight just kind of disappears, which is fine. I'm cool with that, um, but we do have to carry that weight around, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab... Um... This exosuit repair kit. And, oh, you know what? I could, I need more scouring pads. Let's throw, uh, that our old, our, I, I don't know what to put it, how to put it. Like our, our current knife is going to go into the chest so that we get our old knife back. Um, I'll carry, I'll, I'll take one of these batteries, but I want to, uh, repair our oh, I keep opening this with something in mind and then as soon as I close it I remember um I wanted to oh I don't have any more scouring pads that's what I keep trying to like go in here for I'll just grab a couple of these because they offer bonuses for repair but I don't know if they offer it to the exosuit they do um yeah, I don't have... I really just need a scouring pad. And I don't think... I don't know if this guy sells it. I think he does. No, he... I think he does... Oh, yeah, there there it is. This thing is just so good. I, I Like, it always offers, like, the best bonus. It's like... Oh, it, uh, not in this case. Okay, oops. I'll go ahead and use this um, camouflage tarpaulin. I, I never seem to see it. Like, I don't know what it's for. Our polyester fa fabrics have been repaired. I'm probably going to use up the exosuit um, repair kit. The, the, this thing is expensive, but, uh, you know, obviously we need to use it. It's... It is unfortunately the easiest and best way to repair um, the exosuit. 
and the reason here's the reason um i would love to like individually craft every single part of the exosuit and then replace it and repair its condition that way uh and in fact i do do that but um the problem is, is i don't know or i can't that is to say um seem to be able to repair the 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 actual exo part i'm not even sure what it's called um this part the exoskeleton frame there may be a way to repair it in fact you know why don't we learn something right now um it might be that i can use our multi-tool to repair it nope uh barring that maybe like i i've looked i've looked and and i don't seem to like i don't know how to repair it. i might have to look up uh, look that up and it might be one of those things that there is actually an answer but um from what i could oh god damn it from what i could tell there's like no easy way to repair that part and so i've just been taking to using the the exo repair kit which is expensive but it's you know it is what it is like the exo suit is valuable and it's worthwhile um not really any point in putting it in here did i put a flashlight back in here i, I want to disassemble some of these things uh, i know like you can disassemble the exosuit or the exoskeleton but it's not really worth it like it offers you a bunch of parts but those parts are not particularly valuable so i'm not sure what the deal is um let's put that frame back in there and um this these bullets grenades exosuit parts these scouring pads and uh unfortunately i've kind of burned through my my headlamp battery i do want to see if maybe we have um we could upgrade something real quick i'm trying to keep things separate but it's like really it's really difficult like there's just so much stuff so like um let's see if maybe we can upgrade our pda um devices so we're two capacitors short of a pda so that's that's unfortunate can we craft we need to make a metal lined thing i think we sh we have another metal lined uh box in here i tend to not keep them unfortunately but they're also not expensive to make i think uh not seeing it in here so we'll have to make another one. Oh, here here's one but it has something in it it has a sparkler um i also have this here item uh or object but it has a stone flower in it and i think the stone flower does emit radiation so like i could take this out and um actually yeah here's what we do we take it out um this moss will provide us with some anti-radiation so what we'll do is we'll just take it take out our our sparkler it's not going to emit all that much radiation i clearly put it in the box because the box was good enough right so this thing emits seven seven whatever rodkas i don't know what you want to call it um but either way we can we can handle the little bit of radiation as is so we're going to take that metal lined lead lined metal container and we're going to turn it into a better container that better container is an ingredient to make a better container and like ideally we're making like a, a tier three tier three or tier four container and we have nothing to put in this container i, sh I should be clear here like um you know i don't have anything to put in it but uh like we're preparing for the the potential the potentiality of finding a better artifact like if i had found another sun or another artifact that offered rupture or ballistics resistance um that would be amazing like you saw how much 
how many bullets I took from uh, in the military base. Like the 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 power of the artifact is insane. It's it's fantastic. So um, yeah, I'm gonna spend all my capacitors. I looked at the top level PDA and I really don't think it's worth it. I think it's it's just whatever. Um, so now that I've gone ahead and crafted this, we're going to go ahead and put the, uh, sparkler back in there, but there's not really any reason, you know, you can put radioactive artifacts in your st uh, stash box and it doesn't matter. Like they don't, uh, you know, the stash box doesn't become a problem or anything like that. I really do need fuel for cooking. But anyway, um, our gun is could use a kind of a touch up. Let me do that real quick. Again, I'm sorry. Like this is it comes with the territory. Um, actually, we'll use that. Um, pretty sure. Actually, if I just have a if I get a ramrod, do I not have a ram? Oh, I do have a ramrod. Go ahead and field strip the barrel, use the ramrod, clean the barrel. And, um, pretty sure the condition of the gun, it's weird. The condition of the gun will like change depending on the items that you have in it. So the condition of the gun is still slightly damaged we're gonna go ahead and repair it i'm very liberal about using these things now because like first of all i have a pretty good chance of you like doing the repair without using up the item since i have like a bazillion perks for repairing since i've been doing the legwork on repairing um that didn't happen this time but you know it doesn't matter these things are not expensive and i'd rather um repair the few percentage on our gun now then later because uh it'll be more expensive later um all right so that's done i'm gonna go and throw everything back into our container that i can then we reload our gun and then i'm gonna eat some food i'm very cognizant of the fact that this is all a lot of time spent um we'll put on the pseudo giant hide for now So the next thing is we're going to go to the bar. Um, I guess we can look at those bandits I killed. I do need to eat some food. I forgot that you can drag bodies. Yeah, you can drag bodies. I completely forgot about that. Uh, he's got a little bit of money, some stuff. That I don't care about. What do you got? Well, he's got some food and an ifac and some money. We're good. All right. Um, let's head over to the bar. There's some stuff we could do in. Uh, that's a bandit base. I really don't want to do that bandit base. <laughs> just, just in time. Just in time for my my friends to start shooting something. I'm really not sure like what we're doing next. I guess I want to hit the, head to Pripyat. There's a person I'm supposedly supposed to meet in um, uh, Jupiter. Hello, friend. In Jupiter, but like outside of that, um, yeah, I, I don't I don't really know what we're doing. What we're doing next, I don't, like, I don't have the next story mission. I guess it's just head to Pripyat. But I want to, I want to sell my, the, the, see if I can't sell that gun. I don't know to who, who would buy it. But we need money. Um, I want to buy some more routes, but, like, I want to, I want to push. I want to make a push for, for Pripyat and for, uh, the major sections of the next area, you know? I 
I never... Okay, I'm getting lost again. Okay, it's over here, I think. This is the guy that, by the way, will, will sell you, like, very important routes. And, in fact, he has one more that I need to buy that costs, like, 30000 you have any work? Boar pelts? Have anything else? No? Dude, come on over. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Yeah. Uh, any work you want done? Retrieve the encrypted documents that where army are sure. Pretty sure. No, it's not a job. I, I don't have the, uh, I don't have them. Uh, any other work? Destroy the mutants in Rostock. Nah. Four leg kill the stalker in army warehouse sure i mean i'm heading there eventually job is done there's some documents um anything else no okay now will you buy my gun please buy my gun you will buy my gun fantastic good chunk of money nine thousand I'll buy my other stuff do you have some fuel for me you yes you do thank goodness no one has been able to sell me any fuel for ages. Um, tempted to buy ammo, but I really don't know if it's worth it. I don't think so. All right, now this dude over here has another route for me. Uh, oh, wait. apparently I can't afford it, maybe? I thought he had one more for me, but maybe I already bought it. There's a couple of extra labs that you can go to that, um, you know, you have to buy the routes for. And in fact, there were a few episodes ago, I say a few, like 10, there was a place like near a bandit camp that I was trying to go to and I couldn't seem to find um, the entrance. So I, I think maybe that was a, a route that I, I didn't I didn't have yet. I don't know how I feel about buying routes. It kind of, uh, I think it adds a bit of unnecessary extra grind to the game. I think if I was going to do another playthrough of this, and I'm still, I'm not like entirely, I don't think it's entirely out of the question, but you know, I won't say that this game, this uh, series has been super popular. Not that that's the only reason I'm doing it. It's obviously not, but, um, like, if I was to do another playthrough of this game, I don't think I would, um, I think I would just have all routes unlocked. And I might look at some, um, some of the options uh, in terms of crafting and stuff like that. I'm gonna have to buy some more Nemiroff uh, vodka. We've got tons of food. It's not like I need to do this, but it's just like a habit I've built up over time. Uh, oh, you know what? You can buy that as well. Um, wow, we already burned through that fuel. And I need some Nemirov vodka, which he doesn't have. Well, that sucks. Well, whatever. That's fine. Okay. Um, there is a stash in Freedom Base. There's a couple of stashes. I guess you can, uh, like, I'm, I'm clearly not accomplishing anything, like, major. This is the, the kind of the extra grinding episode. Um, just kind of, like, checking a few boxes. I think the main thing I really wanted uh, was to get some more ammo and um, to, to clear out some of the stuff that I had pending, like, for ages. Like, mostly the military base. I really just wanted to take care of the military base. So, the most exciting part of this episode was in the first 10 minutes. Gotcha. You could have you could have saved yourself uh like 30 minutes, 50 minutes. I can count, I I promise. 
But here's what I'm going to promise you, um, is in the next episode, I am going to head to Pripyat. Like, that's something I really want to do. Um, I really want to head towards the end of the game. See what, what there's left to see. See what's in Pripyat. I haven't even seen what Jupiter looks like. Um, so that's something I definitely want to do. What do we have here? Is it on the roof? Is it something stupid like that? I guess it is, yeah. Our dude is hungry again. Well, let's eat some mutant meat. Where is our mutant meat? Oh, there it is. I wonder if you can cook something from the pseudo giant and what you get from that. There, uh, maybe it's in here. Oh yeah, I think I think I see the stash at the end there. Okay. Uh, we got expert tools. Well, that's good. Isn't there? There's someone nearby that could use those. I think. Um. I can't remember if it's here or if it's in the next area. Army warehouse? I guess I am in army warehouse. You guys are in my way. You guys are in my way. Okay. All right. Teleporting away from you. Um, so we have to go west, I think. I, I think this guy here will accept the expert tools. I can't remember if I already gave him advanced tools. Oh God, you guys are going to be in my way again, aren't you? Any work you want done? Red forest, anything else? Expert tools, there we go. That was extremely fortunate because he's probably going to give us some money. 16,000. Fantastic. Um, will you buy these guns? No. Um, so what I like to do in these situations is just buy a couple of these. And do you have the other thing? I'll buy a couple of those. Where? Uh, he doesn't have the other one. Heavy armor repair kit. No exo repair kit though. Uh, we have, by the way, all of the manuals. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. Not that it was a huge concern, but like, I have all the manuals. That's kind of a big deal, honestly. So I'm going to repair these guns and um, see if I can't sell them back to them for a nice chunk of change. And remember, it cost me, I think, 7000 to uh, to buy this this stuff to repair these guns. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how much money we actually get from this. I don't seem to be getting lucky with these, uh, uses. Uh, might need to, huh? We can use this cloth. <laughs> hey friend, do you need to buy something? Oh no, you, you, you'd prefer to sell to me. Okay. That's pretty good. Wow, I, I have I'm not getting lucky with these rolls at all. Um, well, let's see. Uh, hopefully, there we go. You repaired the item without spending a use of the repair kit. Let's hope. Hopefully, ninety six percent is enough to sell the gun. No. Oh, trader isn't interested. Okay, that's fine. I'm cool with that. Um, yeah, I guess I really blew through all of that repair. Buy another one of these and we'll see how much I can. Oh, yeah, I should also buy this stuff. This stuff is like highly valuable in its place. We're like I say, we're preparing for the end game here. Uh, I don't know how heavy it is, is a, is a problem. Mm. 
he'll make her uh he'll upgrade uh body armor wait we could do some major upgrades to our suit that would actually be ideal suit durability now we want ballistic resistance and um not enough money wait what oh damn so this is uh 53,000 to do hydra hemo hemoglobin uh injector this is 10,000 we have rupture resistance plus 10 percent or ballistic resistance right now we're at um 44 percent our rupture resistance is at 34 we could do with more rupture resistance because I have ballistic resistance covered with our, our sun artifact. Uh, and we'll do this lighter synthetic polymer. It, it only saves three kilograms, but you know what? Uh, I don't know. Maybe wound healing versus health re re uh, restoration. That's interesting. I feel like um, it would be worth grabbing one of those. What could you do for our gun? Reduce flatness. There's really only one thing left to do on this gun. Uh, this one's a bit of a different story. Three round burst. I don't like three round burst. Reduce the recoil would be nice. The recoil on the shotgun is actually kind of ridiculous. Fire rate is increased. And there's not really anything left to do on this pistol. I made the mistake of grabbing this upgrade, which changes the ammo type, which is really dumb. But yeah, we're we're pretty much done. Like, I'll grab this extra weight upgrade. But there's really not anything else to do. Like, upgrade. We've All of our gear is, like, fully upgraded, which is really nice. Um, sorry, I know it's it's been a lot of, um... Man, uh, inventory management. I really am. I, I feel the need to apologize for, for that. But like I say, we're kind of preparing for the the last part of the game. It's a it's a big deal, you know. I've been showing my friends a little bit of this uh, now. Now that I'm like reaching the last part, like they saw where I was near the beginning and the, like you know explain some of the basics of how to maintain your stuff but um now that i'm in the in the end game you know it's it's such a difference like the the stuff you do i'm doing like my understanding of the game is is very different what do you mean one ruble are you kidding me one ruble He's gonna give me one ruble for this gun? No way, dude. Oh my god. Jesus, that sucks. Uh, wow. Yeah, that, that really bites. Um, well, he has Nemiroff vodka, so that's the main thing. I don't know if there's anything else I need to buy from this man. I could buy a little bit of ammo. Sure. We'll buy some ammo. I'm keeping my shotgun. You can't have it. I don't know what to do with it. This is actually my old shotgun. It might be, be the reason it's so, um, like, he won't give me very much for it is because the, uh, the parts in it are so damaged. Any work you want done? Boar chops? Vinca? That horrible mission that you just insist I take? No? Okay, nothing else. Okay, well, we have ammo. We have food. And we have, like, tons of meds. I think it's time to head to Pripyat. Um, before we do, I'm going to uh, grab the stash. Got a little bit freaked out there. Mm. 
you see anomalies, it's always a good idea to uh, pull your device out, especially if you've got a good device like mine. Something is seeing us. Ah. What is that? That doesn't look like anything I've seen before. <laughs> it looks like uh, it looks like a flesh that's had its textures removed. It looks truly not okay. All right, we have a stash over here. I want to. I want to see it. I want to grab it. Oh, we, oh, we also have an artifact. There is also an artifact here. Now, you might be annoyed at the fact that I don't have a container on me. There is a solution. Um, in fact, it was this, what I uh, did with when I found the sun, because I also didn't have a container for the sun. Um, is basically, I just, like, took as much radiation-reducing medication as I could... And then fast traveled. Um, and that seemed to work out well. Okay, we... I think this is honestly the best way of doing this. Something over there. Okay, so, ouch. This is really annoying. Oh God. I, I can't stand it when I get stuck in these. I just wanted to find the stash. Man, that was not worth it. Um, tourist jacket. Wow, whoopee. Yeah, that was, uh, that was kind of brutal. And that did, it probably did damage to our suit as well, right? Oh, well, not, not really. Um, I'll grab this stuff. I don't know why. I'm not gonna grab these. They're pretty heavy. Like, they, they're probably worth something. Eh, I just... I'm, I'm over it. Okay, let's, um, let's use the serve to patch ourselves up. Okay, what kind of artifact do we have over here? Chain. That's not bad. I'm pretty sure that doesn't emit any radiation. And it gives us more weight. But, um, you know, that's if we wear it, of course. We can sell that. I can, I can sell that for a nice chunk of money. Um, yeah, there's not really anything else to do here. So I'm going to go back to our freedom base. I am just going to fast travel there. Sorry to cheese, but I oh, can't sleep with my ass glowing. Oh, and also I need to repair myself. Okay, best way to get out of here is probably this way. Okay, easy enough. Really, it, I, honestly, I, I I am very grateful for uh, this device since it, it makes things a lot easier. 
so I think I'm going to um, call the episode here. I'm going to go and sell these ch chains. I think I'm going to sell both of them. The only reason I'm carrying around two is because I thought maybe at some point I would find out about transmogrifying or trans... Um, I don't know, trans something, <laughs> the artifacts. I don't know how that works, but it's it's a big whatever. Um, I think I'll just sell them both. I already have things that give us um, like three kilograms. And in fact, I think the beacon is better. Like maybe if I could figure out how to combine the chains, the game just crashed. Well, doesn't that just suck? I was just, just ready to call it in for the game. God damn it. All right, well, I'll call it there anyway. <laughs> um, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Good God damn.